Alka, we are first your student in the Faculty of International Welfare Development. Our topic today is how robot is uh, sorry, change our lives in the next 10 years. This is our outline. We will talk about why we think robots are a good thing for our lives. We will also talk about how robots already exist in our lives. After that, we will explain how we think robots will benefit people in the future. However, we will also try to explain how robots can be a threat. We will provide three examples of robots already in our lives. and talk about how they affect us. First, arresting cars. Arresting cars don't burn gasoline and do not charge gas. So, arresting cars are as friendly. But in this case, it it's a long process for people to change to electricity. And electricity is very expensive. <coughs> our second point is nursing care. We think our burden in looking after old people is decreasing. However, there is one side to nursing care, where, where robots can't perform as well. Even though they are expanding to our daily lives. And is this, robots don't have human wants. They don't have the emotion and compassion that humans have. Sadly, let's talk about jobs. In the future, we may not remain in jobs because they may all become things done by robots. Robots don't sorry, robots don't make mistakes. Robots manage dangerous jobs in place of people. As a result, it cuts the time needed to make things. But we think communication is decreasing between workers, and that this is a loss to human society. And finally, we are going to summarize and explain again how we hope robots will help improve human life 10 years from now. We live with hopeless and worries. It, it is good for us to develop better robots, but it has a dangerous side too. It is over to us how to develop them, but it has a dangerous side. So they help reduce our workload, but still leave us with things to do. So we need to use our knowledge and decide what is the best way to go now. So we, we, we have to consider and decide how to open up the future. Let's think and think how to how to develop, how to make the best society 10 years from now. Thank you for listening.